This video describes a solution to lesson three, practice exercise C, which requires selecting park and ride facilities that meet a certain minimum number of parking spaces and then copying them to their own new feature class. After importing the ArcPy site package in line four, we set up a variable representing the uh, threshold. So in this case, we set that equal to 500 parking spaces. Putting that variable at the top of the script is helpful in case we want to adjust the value and test with other values. It's easy to find and it's not buried down later in our code. In line seven, I'm setting up the ArcPy workspace to be equal to my file geodatabase location. And then uh, line 11 is probably the most critical line of the script. It's setting up the SQL query expression to get the park and ride facilities that have greater than the number of parking spaces that was specified above on line six. So if you were to look at this in ArcGIS Pro, where the park and ride facilities are the black dots, we would do a select by attributes, choosing park and ride, we're gonna do a new selection, and we would create a uh, expression in which the approx par attribute is greater than or equal to, and then we can just type in 500. Click run to run the query. And that'll give us the large park and rides that are primarily found in the Seattle and Tacoma areas. Okay, so getting back to our script, Notice that we need to convert that integer value into a string so that we can concatenate it with the rest of the query expression. However, you don't need to enclose that value in quotes because when you build queries based on numeric values, the number is not put in quotes. So once we have that string, query string all set up, we can run the select layer by attribute tool to get a park and ride layer, feature layer, with just those selected park and rides that meet the criterion. So there's three parameters to pass in here. The first one is the uh, name of the feature class, park and ride. Because we set up the workspace, we can just put the name of the feature class rather than its full path. We also could have stored the name of the feature class in a variable and plug that variable in here. Uh, the second parameter is the selection method, whether we want to create a new selection, add to the existing selection, select from the current selection, etc. Here we want to create a new selection. And finally, the third parameter is that SQL query expression that we created on line 11. So the tool returns to us a feature layer containing the selected park and ride features, which we store in the park and ride layer variable. Once we have that feature layer, we can run the copy features tool to make a brand new feature class with just these selected elements. So the two parameters here, the first one is the variable that holds the, uh, the feature layer. That's the source of the features that we wanna copy. And then the second parameter is uh, the name of the new feature class that we wanna create. And so once we've done that, we have our new feature class and we can run the delete tool to clean up our feature layer. And that's all we have to do in this script. 